Hi, it's Heidi Kelly for Shimmer's Education Team, and today we're going to use my trash bag misting technique to make some fabulous backgrounds. So grab your favorite colors and let's get started. Okay, today we're going to make a couple of different pages, and what I first want you to do is grab a plain old trash bag, and I want you to spread it out over your surface. It doesn't matter if it's kind of uh, not stretched out. In fact, I kind of prefer it to not be. Um, because you're going to get a little uh, cool paint effect that way. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to spray onto the trash bag with some white cardstock. We're going to make some really cool backgrounds. Now I want you to grab a couple of different sheets of white cardstock and then I also want you to have at least one piece of scrap cardstock that you don't mind just kind of um, getting funky. Um, we're going to use it a little bit as a mask. So, first though, I think we're going to use some of these uh, bright new colors. I'm going to use colorings in my Bleeding Heart and Mandarin Mai Tai. I think that would just be a really exciting background. So, what we're going to do first is I'm going to take the colorings, Mandarin Mai Tai, and I'm just going to kind of spritz on the trash bag. And then I'm going to take my piece of uh, white cardstock and I'm going to kind of angle it off to the side here. And I'm just going to push down. Push down. Okay, and when we lift up, you're going to have a really cool pattern. And the fun part about this technique is that um, you're never going to be able to get it to look the same because your trash bag is never going to be laying the same and the indentations are never going to be the same. So now I'm going to set that aside for a minute. I'm going to grab some of my Bleeding Heart and I only want this in right there in the center. Again, I'm going to off-center this on top of the bag and just lightly brush down. And there you go. You have a very cool different background. And now one of the fun things that I like to do is I, I said we were going to do a little bit of a mask. Well, first you want to stretch this out now that you've had that scrunched up and you don't want to waste any of that color. And so for good measure, take one of your pieces of cardstock and really soak all of it up. Lay it every which way. Get all that color. And see now we have another background. Okay, but to finish off the first one, this is the piece of cardstock that I'm going to use as a mask. I think I want to use, since this first one that we did has a little bit of the Mandarin uh, Mai Tai um, colorings, I want to put a little bit more red into it, so I'm going to use the red. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the edge here. Okay? And I may not do the whole edge. Um, um, I'll do it thicker on one side. And then you want to lift this up and move it out of the way. Then you're going to take your sheet that you had and you're going to lay it slightly over because what we want to do is we want to create a bit of a frame. So I'm going to set it there and press along the edges. And I'm going to lift that up and see what we've got there. Now you've got a very cool frame right there and now we want to do along the other side. And you can do it on the opposite side that we sprayed or on the side that you just did. Again, lay it down. And now you have a custom background and it will never look the same as anything else. Now, of course, because we had already sopped up some of the color uh, with the other sheet, I'm going to do the same thing here, except for I'm going to overlap it quite a bit more. Let's get more of a funky effect there. And then turn it. I think I might 
might do this side. Okay, and see how the trash bag has all that texture, so you're going to get all kinds of different color um, variation in the background. And then, what I like to do, if there's any extra, and you can see there's some on this side right here, I just like to dab it. It still has that little bit of texture, but we want to use up all the color. And there you have it. You have that kind of a background. Now, I'm going to show you a second technique. Um, I'll set these aside for a minute. And I'm going to fold this trash bag up. Move it out of the way for a minute. Now the trash bags don't uh, dry real quick, so if you're going to do a couple of different backgrounds in the same setting, you really probably need to have a couple of different trash bags. Um, I often, um, I buy a box of trash bags for myself, and I usually, right now I'm not doing it, but usually what I do is I cut along the edges so I have both sides of the trash bag. Now this one, I want you to kind of crumple up just in certain spots. Okay. Let's see. That looks good. Okay, and this time we're going to use a couple of different colors here. I'm going to use Shimmers Vibes in Pop Art Pink. I'm going to use Vibes in Razzle Dazzle Berry. I'm going to use um, Vibes in Grape Escape. And I'm going to use the Shimmerings Bronzed Bombshell afterwards because I think that will just really look cool. So this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the light pink color down first because uh, otherwise it's just not going to show. And I'm really going to get this trash bag this time with that. And I'm going to take my piece of white cardstock and lay it right down. We want to soak up some of that light pink, that pop art pink color. I want to get it on there because I know once I put the darker colors down, it's going to kind of soak in. So now we have a little bit of a light pink in the background. And now I'm going to mix up my Grape Escape here on my Razzle Dazzle Berry. Let's see, I'm going to put... It's kind of hard to spray it down like that. Put some Razzle Dazzle Berry right there. And then you can kind of customize this any way you want to by where it completely depends on where you spray your shimmers. Okay, I'm going to put some purple there and there. Okay, take my sheet again and I'm going to just pat lightly because this time I don't want to put it all the way down, I just want the edge effects. And so now we have a paper that looks like this. And I just think that looks really spectacular. But before I spray the bronze, I'm going to set that aside for a minute. I'm going to grab another piece of my white cardstock. I like to make a couple different backgrounds at once, especially if I know I have papers that are going to match these colors. And this time I'm really going to mash it down in there because I want to use up some of that color that I just sprayed down. And so now we have one that looks like that. And then I'm going to grab that piece of scrap paper that I had setting down before. And um, I think I want to do just the edges kind of right down here. Because I think I only want the edging maybe on that side. So I'm going to move that sheet again. I'm going to lay my sheet down, kind of overlap just slightly on where I framed it. And there we have it. We have um, our own custom background painted page. Um, now I am going to spray with some um, where'd it go? the bronzed bombshell because I just think it will give it a really nice shimmer. Give it a little bit of contrast here and you may not see it on the uh, video camera but when I take the final shots of the 
paper, it'll really show up gorgeous and give it so much shimmer. So, there you have it. Now you have a little bit of extra um, paint on here. If you want to go ahead and sop that up, I, I make tags with it. I stick my flowers in it. You can make another background with it if you'd like. Um, just really make use of your paints and don't waste it. And uh, I hope you have fun. Thanks.